Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate the unknown values of capacitance and as well as resistance for the shearing bridge. In the last video, I have explained the shearing bridge concept, how to calculate the unknown, cans, unknown capacitance and as well as resistance. We have uh, taken the bridge balance condition and got the equations for Cx and Rx. Now using those Cx and Rx and the dissipation factor also we have calculated using the dissipation factor how to calculate these problems related to shearing bridge. So this is the first problem generally uh, I told you already in any bridge concept most of the cases you will get questions like this uh, with the names of the arms AB consisting of this one, BC consisting of this one like that it is going to ask. So now in an AC bridge it is having the following parameters AB is the capacitor which is of 0.5 microfarad in parallel with the 1 kilo ohm resistor. See here AB is a capacitor AB consisting of a capacitor in parallel with the resistor. So consider our shearing bridge our shearing bridge this is the shearing bridge A take this node as A and this one as B this is C and this one is D. Okay, so now see the question A B a capacitor of 0.5 microfarad in parallel with 1 kilo ohm resistor. So this capacitance value is 0.5 microfarad and the R1 resistance is 1 kilo ohm. Okay, and the arm AD resistance of 2 kilo ohms AD. So we have only one resistor that is 2 kilo ohms. And next BC capacitor of 0.5 microfarad. So if you see the B and C arm, it is having one only one capacitor which is 0.5 microfarad. Now CD is the unknown capacitor. That is nothing but a CX and RX in series. So our aim is to calculate this RX and CX and the operating frequency is also given which is 1 kilohertz. So frequency is also given 1 kilohertz. Okay, determine the unknown capacitance and as well as dissipation factor. So determine the unknown capacitance and the dissipation factor. So already when we have calculated the shearing bridge, bridge balance condition, we have got the equations as Rx is equal to C1 by C3 into R2. This is the formula of Rx. C1 into R2 by C3. So substitute these values. C is 1. What is the value of C1? 0 0.5 micro means 10 power minus 6 into what is the value of R2? 2 kilo ohms. 2 into 10 power 3 divided by C3. What is C3? How much is C3? It is also 0 0.5 microfarad. So simply it is equal to 2 kilo ohms. Okay. So next Cx. Unknown capacitance Cx how to calculate. Cx is, it is having the formula R1 C3 by R2. R1 C3 by R2. So what is the formula, what is the value of R1? R1 is 1 kilo ohm into C3. What is the value of C3? 0 0.5 microfarad divided by so R2. What is R2? 2 kilo ohms. Okay. So 0 0.5. It is 1 kilo by 2 kilo. It is nothing but 0 0.5 1 by 2. So 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 it is 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 microfarads. 0 0.25 microfarads. Now coming to the factor calculation part of dissipation factor d is equal to omega rx into cx omega rx into cx so that is equal to omega rx into cx or you can also take after substituting these values we have got omega r1 c1 omega r1 c1 even if you take that one or this one both are same okay so what is omega here 2 pi f 2 pi into f what is f frequency 1 kilo h into rx 2 kilo 
into what is cx cx is nothing but 0 0.25 into 10 power minus 6 micro so if you simplify this you will get a 3.14 approximately because kilo kilo 10 power minus 6 gets cancelled 2 into 2 this is 4 4 into 0 0.25 that is 1 okay simply it becomes it uh, gives only the value of pi so that's why 0 uh, 3.14 no units for this dissipation factor so this is the way how to calculate the shearing bridge uh, capacitance and resistance of the unknown values and as well as dissipation factor coming to the next problem how to solve this uh, problem a sample of insulation was placed in arm a b of the shearing bridge when the bridge is balanced at a frequency 50 h so now we have given with a frequency of f is equal to 50 h f is equal to 50 h the other arms of the bridge were as follows now let us consider a b here you see if you see this problem a b determine the capacitance equivalent resistance and the peak factor p f of the insulation in text arm a b so a b is having the test arm so take a here and b here okay take c as this one and b as this one see a b is consisting of unknown components like resistance and as well as capacitance and uh, let us see what are the remaining values are given arm b c a non inductive r resistance of 100 ohms b c is having pure resistance that is of 100 ohms okay arm c d a non inductive resistance r is equal to c d r is equal to 300 ohms 300 ohms in parallel with the resistor 0 0.5 microfarad now arm d a is a lossless capacitor loss v or lossless capacitance of 100 picofarad so it is 100 picofarad now determine the capacitance value and as well as equivalent resistance value okay so what is the value of cx so cx is equal to we know the formula cx is equal to r1 c3 r1 c3 divided by r2 so what is r1 300 ohms into c3 it is c3 100 picofarad pico means 10 power minus 12 divided by r2 what is r2 100 ohms so what is the value you have got 100 100 gets cancelled it is 300 picofarad simply and similarly the unknown resistance rx can be calculated with the formula what is the formula c1 r2 by c3 the same formula we are using okay c1 r2 by c3 where is c1 0 0.5 micro 10 power 6 into where is r2 100 ohms divided by c3 c3 is nothing but 100 picofarads 10 power minus 12 so 100 100 gets cancelled when it goes up 0 0.5 mega ohms 0 0.5 mega ohms 0 0.5 mega ohms or you can also write it as 500 kilo ohms you can also write it as 500 kilo ohms okay now power factor or see this is power factor it is asked to calculate power factor so power factor or dissipation factor both are same power factor is equal to omega r4 c4 omega r4 c4 so uh, sorry omega rx cx you can simply write it as omega rx cx or you can say it is in the fourth term so you can even say it as uh, r4 and c4 both are correct no problem so you can take rx cx omega is nothing but 2 pi f into cx into rx that is equal to 2 pi what is the value of f 50 h 2 pi into 50 into rx is nothing but 500 kilo ohms or 0 0.5 mega 
into cx. What is cx? 300 pico. 300 into 10 power minus 12. Okay. So, if we simplify this, you will get 0 0.0471. <coughs> so, power factor, we don't have any units. So, this is the value of power factor or dissipation factor. Okay. So, in this way, we can calculate the unknown values of Rx and uh, Cx and as well as the uh, dissipation factors of this shearing bridge. Okay. As we have calculated in the, uh, as we have calculated, what is that? Um, Quality factor in the case of Maxwell's and Ace bridge in this shearing bridge we are going to calculate the dissipation factor or peak factor. Okay. Thank you.